Okay, I'm going to introduce you to the latest of the methods to draw a bridge and a cross brace. Uh, this will help your bridge significantly. Uh, this is a very simple one. You can make more uh, advanced ones. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to start here, just give you a quick overview. This is the full bridge assembly. Um, one thing I want you to pay attention to is we are going to have a bill of materials which shows our item number and quantity. We'll use this later in drawings. Some of these parts are made up of other parts, such as the cross brace, and the straws have multiple parts, but it's only showing two straw sides. So we're going to have what, um, <clears throat> what are called cut lists for those items later. So this is going to help us build our bridge and get a list of what we need. Uh, we're all, we can also add names to these, which we'll do later, um, and so we can see what we're, call we're calling them. So you're going to want to make sure you name everything in your... Um, project so we can get this nice list of items. That's the first thing uh, we're going for here is that this is a if you're doing this um, from a previous video this video now has correct quantities so we've got three strut straws which go across um, the cross brace we've got one of those which made up three pieces and we've got the outside nodes which we have two um, center nodes sorry four outside nodes you can see them here and four top nodes and two sets of straws. So we'll talk about the, the cut list to get all the dimensions of those straws. So let's just, we can click on any of these items. If you pop them up, you click here and they go back, uh, back away. So um, let's see here. <clears throat> um, playing with some new, there we go, uh, new keystrokes. So F, F brings uh, your drawing full screen um, Z brings it in and out, kind of a zoom option. So I'm trying to use F here if I get lost. Uh, Spacebar obviously clears everything. And you're going to see my keystrokes popping up on the, over my head here. Um, and then um, you'll see my mouse clicks quickly. I'll try and slow those down a little bit. So uh, we're going to start here with variables. You're going to bring this variable in from, um, this is version 7 of a variable, variable studio that you're going to import to get all these variables. This is the sketch that has the side. Um, in, this, in this video, you will draw one of each node and we will replicate um, those nodes, the duplicates in the um, in a assembly, which is the correct way to do things. So notice I, I'm missing a few nodes here. Um, I'll hide these sketches, it makes it a little easier to see. Um, you're only going to draw um, the unique nodes. That's really important, especially as we get into cross bracing, um, where you want to not have to redraw multiple sketches. So that's the. Uh, and we're also going to do this uh, cut list, which shows all of our straws. Um, that's again over here. Um, it's showing us what length straws we need and how many we need. This can be really handy when you're making your bridge. Uh, so. Again, you can click here. Um, the cut list is uh, this one right here. Um, we don't quite use these yet, the other ones, but the cut list is what uh, you need. And I'll show you how to create that. Uh, so once we get through uh, drawing that, you'll assemble it in the side, which has our full side with all of the K hides your mates. And you're just gonna use a lot of mates in here so everything aligns. So, and then um, once we have the full bridge, uh, you're gonna create two sides, you're gonna create some struts. These are the struts on the bottom that connect the sides. And then you're gonna do a, a cross brace on the top. So notice this has a context, this is something new. Um, it is, we're, instead of drawing this in a part studio, we're using the assembled bridge to reference our uh, connections for our our cross brace. So notice we've got some use commands uh, in here that are using parts of the assembled bridge. This is really powerful. It lets us use all the tools uh, in the right places. So assembly, when we're assembling, we use the assembly. When we're drawing sketches, we do part studios and, and making parts. Um, the other nice thing is this allows us to separate out our cross bracing from our nodes sketch uh, and Part Studio, so we have separate. Well, you have a separate sketch, but no, it's Part Studio. So that is definitely going to help you out. Sorry, the doggies went crazy. So uh, it's going to help you out with organizing all of your 
uh, sketches. So here we go. We've got uh, another another cut list here. Uh, that means we have another list of parts for the cross brace, uh, which requires only one straw and then two pieces of wood. Um, here we've actually added our um, our pieces here, cross brace pieces to the assembly. Um, sorry, to the part studio. Um, you may or may not do that. You can also do those in a sub assembly, <clears throat> but they do come together nicely here, and you have one cut list for the for the for the um, for the cross brace. So, uh, how are we going to do this? I'll start the next video here, and we'll show you how we're going to do it.